And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Gangplank Lucian. Uh, this is going to be a pretty cool little aggro deck combining Demacia and Bilgewater together. Uh, kind of combining the best of both of these regions. Uh, we got Monkey Idol in here being able to get our Powder Monkeys. I just really think Monkey Idol is a, a good card these days. I really do. And these, these Powder Monkeys are good on offense and defense and dealing damage to the enemy Nexus, which is important for a couple of reasons. We want to level up our Gangplank, and it does a really good job of that. And of course, we're going to need to be able to enable our Riptide Rex later on in the game. But as you can see, we're just playing some super powerful cards. Gangplank, Genevieve, Elmhart, Riptide Rex, three of all of them. You know, uh, Grizzled Ranger, Petty Officer, both very good at mid-range things. Um, our early game, our two drops are awesome with Bright Steel Protector, Lucian, and War Chefs, and even Fleet Feather Tracker, which is a really good one-mana challenger. So good stuff across the board. And then to help us get some card advantage, we got Vanguard Redeemers in here that uh, will draw an ally and can, you know, can help us draw all of these good cards uh, to help us keep from uh, running out of steam. Playing this over Senna, and I'm happy with that. Like I can understand... Uh, just playing some cards that are just better individual cards at the three mana slot than Senna, which as a 4-2 is really easy to kill. And really Senna just does a good job of leveling up Lucian um, and, it can, and it attacks well, but it doesn't block that well. You know, like it, you can trade up with it, I suppose, but it, it doesn't um, block and stay alive very well. Like Redeemer replaces itself, Petty Officer gives you another unit, Monkey Idol does a lot. I'm fine with playing all these over Senna. And uh, that's what we got. We got even an unyielding spirit for our monkey idol. <laughs> so we can keep on getting powder monkeys. Or who knows, maybe for something else. But all right, so this is our deck, Gangplank Lucian. We're going to go play five games over in ranked. And we'll see how it does. Um, so the deck started with a barrel deck to help level Lucian, right? Because you want to kick, you want to pop the powder kegs and use that to level Lucian. And then you found there's very little spells in the regions that pop the powder kegs. So yeah, you're looking at like make it rain, parlay. Not a lot. Vladimir Sedwani. I think this kind of works. Is it 2 3 4? We have protector protect something. Push back the darkness. Fight or die. No room for doubt. Powder keg will allow me to do 2 damage, but we don't have the mana to go Powder Keg, then make it rain, of course, next turn. Let the flames take you. Hmm. We have another Lucian. Man, what a great petty officer that just gets us a, a... We do have another Lucian. Do you want to get back to work? Don't think I just let my Lucian die that easily, though. Okay. Well, it will be dying now. Oh yeah, and Rage Yeti is super strong. 
No, I don't do very much deck building on stream. I have a couple of times, but not not really. Usually, I I do that off of stream and spend this the stream time playing games. It's nothing too it's nothing too fancy. It's mostly me just. Um. I guess the the main way that I do it is kind of go through and you know start with. Start with whatever. Start with like something that I want to the deck to do, or play or play certain champions or something like that. So I start there and then just kind of go through everything and just put in all of the possible cards to play. And so then, you know, have the deck, you know, maybe be like 50, 60 cards and then kind of go from there and look at like the curve and cut it down to 40 from there. The young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. There's a lot of attacking they could potentially do. Hmm. There's a lot of attacking. I think the more that we keep them from attacking, the better for us. Don't get in my way. My plan is Tracker and, and Bright Steel Protector, but I don't want them to know about Quickly, Tracker yet. The storm is close. So. My shield is yours. So they should have, um, they have two Crimson cards in hand from that Crimson Curator. Oh, I can't wait. Is that one of them? Yep, that's one of them. Likely gonna be my plan is basically to cast concerted strike on the the storm claw this turn. That's what I was kind of planning on. Try to understand. I matter. You don't. They're probably attacking, right? Don't really know why they wouldn't. The winter's claw. My turn. Let's get this over with. Yeah, this can definitely go wrong for us, for sure. Let's see. Sure about that? It's 
all overwhelm. War teaches us all. Okay, that's not too bad. Three out of four for Lucian. No. So we wanted to make it rain to hit them. The winter's claw will purge the weak. Hmm. Question is, do I trade leveled up Lucian for Scar Mother Verena? That's my question right now. Like, you know, because this would be four four damage double attack. Do I want to make that trade? I think so. I think so. They didn't have anything. <clears throat> Okay, cool. I'll take that also. See, they didn't have any spells to break up my Concerted Strike the previous turn. Alright, each time the powder monkeys die, we get to rally. So there's a good chance they don't attack because of Lucian rally and powder monkey. Or... But maybe they do. If they don't attack, I, you know, this will just die at end of turn, and so, like, we're not going to then be able to attack after end of turn happens. I helped build this empire. Relying on Riptide Rex. All right, they are attacking. The bloodier, the better. All right, so they'll create a, another Crimson. Down to three is all that extra damage. We strike. Batter him. Make him go boom. Can't fight on an empty stomach. All right, GGs. Gangplank Lucian. Stay dead. Get in the first one. Nice start, one and oh. <laughs> nice 
start. Alright, so we'll curve War Chefs into Petty Officer. I like the Concerted Strike. We only saw one of our powerful top end cards last game. We kind of think of like Gangplank, Genevieve Elmhart, Riptide Rex. Those are our powerful top end cards. We only saw one with one Riptide Rex. We are, we're playing three of each of those. And so that's a pretty good sign of us pulling through with that being the case. So that means no Remembrance next turn. If we didn't have the attack token, I'd be playing Petty Officer, but with the attack token, I'll play Tracker and Protector. That's fine. By giving the track of the barrier, you know, we get to pump up the Bright Steel Protector, get an additional point of damage instead of just pumping up the Fleet Feather Tracker to make it a 3 2 to challenge. So we get that additional point of damage in, which could make the difference. We'll see. And there's Remembrance. Boo. Yay. Three, six, eight, ten. Attack for ten or eleven. Feel the sizzle. No one goes hungry. Attack for eleven. Attacking for eleven. Getting them down to two. All right, so let's go with these. I guess it would make sense to strike with the war shafts. Oh, do you want to go back to work? Because if something something goes wrong, the, I guess the thing about striking with the two three power things is that most likely that plus the tracker will kill them. Um, what do you, what do you, yeah, Cruel, can you, where, where do you mean? I'm not sure exactly what you mean there, Cruel Mercy. So they have another single combat. Fight the other thing, okay, so it's just... <clears throat> Killing both of these, so. Oh, they're single combat, that thing again. Okay. Lady Elise, where are you? I must get out of here. 
Oh, right, yeah. Like how, yeah, bigger streamers will go, OMG, won't believe this kind of titles. Yeah. Yeah, that's not, that's not really my style. Yeah, my I guess my titles are kind of bland. I usually I usually just put all, all the deck deckless names, except for if I'm just kind of putting those together at the time and I don't have the deckless names, then I just put whatever day, for the most part. Um, so obviously we're not blocking here because of radiant. You know they're just doing this for radiant guardian. Uh, Yeah, because I don't want to play Vanguard Redeemer, because I want to play this after something dies. So, it, it would just be playing War it, You know, my, my choices here are either War Chefs or Genevieve Elmhart. Those are my two choices if I'm not playing Vanguard Redeemer. And we might as well play Genevieve Elmhart with those choices. The main question is if we want to go another Elmhart... Which we could. They can't ruination. I can also just scout ahead and see what they do. And then I would have the ability, to, like, if I need to concerted strike, we could play war chefs afterwards and attack again. Yeah, like, Vengeance we're fine with. Oh, I guess the problem with this is Radiant Guardian again, isn't it? No, because we... Never mind, we, we pull the Radiant Guardian over the side, so that's not a problem. I don't know. I don't know how my opponent gets out of this. That's not it. Okay. Looks like they didn't know how to get out of it either. Two and oh. Now we're getting some better luck again. You know, we just got to go one four, then get some good luck. One four, get some good luck. Yeah, very good curve that we had that game for sure. You know, like we had one drop, two drop, then one drop plus two drop. Like, you know, that's a really good curve. Well, your Shadow Isles. Do I keep all of these? Do I put back Protector? I think I put back Protector. Protector is a good blocker, and also has this be a good blocker. No, let's. Can we keep all of these? Two drops. Dot deck. Use a fleet feather tracker. Push back the darkness. Please don't have Ravenous Butcher. Please don't have Ravenous Butcher. Why? Why do you have to do that? Why do you need to be like that? Yeah, I know, right? Just happened with the War Mother Swain deck too, our last game. Just like this. Stand and fight. Stow the Russians! Shackle the 
so I could have could have like blocked one of these other ones and then single combat the four three to try to you know try to kill it and then saved an additional three life. But I'd rather just play this thing out. Order from here. There's a kill in the air. Passing turn, no attacks. Not a bad draw. I'm assuming some units are going to die this round. Fair assumption. Don't duck on my account. Taste the glory. You're disrupting my research. Puts me down to nine. And they get to draw a card. I don't really want them drawing this card. So Lucian was a free attack. Well, I did not really. I didn't want them blocking with that that three two, but I guess I guess maybe I should have and let them block with the three two. Remember the fallen. But I didn't want them to block with the three two. Okay. Let's see. So we're not playing anything this turn. I will have. Gangplank, double single combat. Really hope they don't have interaction. So if I do that, then my gangplank dies. Yeah, that's that's fine. And so then if they have Fury of the North, we can still answer. Basically, just too scared of Fury of the North. Where I would have I would have liked to have you know to kill those and keep my gangplank alive as a five three. We'll just have this 3-2 Vanguard Redeemer instead and keep single com keep the single combat. Come closer. I don't fight. Yeah, I think so too. I think the Lucian's probably more important than the Gangplank. Perfect. Everyone's a garden. I'm going to go. Mm. Barrier Lucian first. Yeah. You're covered. Okay. 
I wish I knew what Make It Rain was going to do before we decide what to do with the other things. But I think I just go for the random. Hopefully these two. Yeah. How about that? So young. That was pretty good. I thought that Elise would block the sparring student and then the caretaker would block over here. No? Okay, so they're just just gonna go there. And then I don't know what the plan is. I guess just have this thing block Lucian the next turn. So they, they attacked into the powder keg because even though even though that would give us the attack token, because that they were planning on already giving us the attack token with the two one challengers taking out my pair of three twos. But there we go, that's that's some good variants there with that Mega Rain. See we can get some good variants every now and again. That one was good. Well, I love this opener of these three cards. And I think I may just keep Gangplank because Gangplank's super strong. Where I already have, like, good first few turns. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure we're going to be pretty big underdogs to Ash Sejuani. Everything is. Try to play units. Just kill it. They're just great against mid-range decks. It's the king of mid-range. The, the current Demacia. king of mid-range. Arrows at the ready. My shield is yours. They can culling strike the tracker. And that takes up their turn. But that was a great card to have. Stay back. Now they get to make this trade as well. Wow. Doesn't take up their turn, I forgot. Unreal. Well, so much for that good start that I thought I was going to have. It was fun while it lasted. Patience. I do have the same number of cards in hand as them. For now. Is Gangplank actually better in our deck than Garen would be? Not and ready.
Do you want to get back to work? I mean, do I even do any attacks? I mean, I guess we do this attack to help out Gangplank. I don't know. I would I would just throw this here and they would just block with the 3-3. Three, three. I'm basically so I decided to save Saboteur. Maybe maybe we need that to turn on Riptide Rex for Plunder. Cause I'm not looking like I'm gonna have anything else for Riptide Rex and Plunder. Sweet. Sure. Sure. My arrow won't miss. Leaping into action. All right, Unyielding Spirit, steal a game. You've concerns, do you? I'll cut my name into you. Ready. Mm, a delicious challenge. Oh, well, now we'll have the Gangplank be able to keep attacking and probably turn on Riptide Rex with that. Probably. Their bones are splinter. Unyielding Spirit Gangplank. Doesn't, definitely doesn't mean that we're going to win. They can get around it fairly easily. Line up. That is true, the powder kegs are a little bit of a liability against Sejuani. So basically I'm thinking they, they could harsh winds. But I, would, I want them to play Harsh Winds. Yeah, like, I love them playing Harsh Winds right now and not, like, during combat. Like, I, I will trade single combat for Harsh Winds. I think that's a good trade. It's a great trade. Iron Ballista. This puts me down to... No! Oh, they're killing me over here. So I'm down to three. Brittle Steels are killing me. Riptide Rex, you got this. Save me. Save me. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I should have blocked the 5-5. Five five. That's true. And then single combated. I could have saved two life. That's, that's a good point. I don't know why I just didn't really think of that too much, but I should have. So I'm planning on parlaying to get rid of this extra thing so we don't have like a whole bunch of cannon barrages on that thing. So, of course, they have that card. Oh, 
Okay, no cards in hand. Yeah, they surrendered. I was gonna say, they're not gonna win off no cards in hand, right? They could, they played Hearth Guard, right? Like, all they had to do is draw Sejuani. Sejuani was lethal. Because of Averroes and Hearth Guard that they already played. Wasn't it? I guess. Oh, no, maybe it was only six power. I don't know. I guess Sejuani, if it was just six power with just one Hearth Guard, they would be able to do two damage to me if it was just six power. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, we almost lost with Unyielding Spirit, Gangplank. Can we get that 5-0? Oh, we'll see core deck. We'll see. Looks like we're playing a similar deck for kind of like a mirror match type thing here. I like this hand. I like Petty Officer and Gangplank making some powder kegs from Omega Rain. Final boss time. I'll burn for what I've done. Riptide Rex. Let's get to it. Good card. In seven more turns. Probably an argument of not playing Lucian and saving mana for Mega Rain Powder Keg next turn. Probably a pretty decent argument for that. Nothing like the stink of glory sweat. The dead don't need riches. What are the chances this actually works? If like powder, you know, we actually powder keg, make it rain. The chances that actually works. I guess it's still better than getting a one drop. Cabo says chances are high. Glad to hear that. Should I go Bright Steel Protector at the beginning of the turn, give the Powder Keg a barrier, and then do that? That's fine with me. Get two for one? I'm fine with that. I think we just go like this. Sweet. So now we both have five cards in hand, but I got a 3-2, and we're at basically the same life total. Card, so they're up a card. Well, I guess we're even if you count the three two. Be nothing left when I'm done. I'm going my own way, Captain. Oh, nail to the keel of my ship. They can kill the powder keg. That's fine with me. Bro. 
this. That gives them three. Wow, didn't even attack the powder keg. Just said, nah. Don't need to. Get him, one, two. You own what you take. Ouch. I'll show him pain. Their pride will cost them. Best run while you can. So I can have Unyielding Spirit on one of these, which I think would be would be Genevieve Elmhart would be the card to Unyielding Spirit. I think. Being able to double challenge each turn with no, no chance of dying. I need more Alternatively, we could just be killing Sejuani with Concerted Strike, which would give me three mana enough for a Lucian. A Get more blockers. Here. Yeah, I think you're right. I think this is Concerted Strike turn. Sweep the lead. Born for conquest. You shall go no farther. Stand and fight. Come on, concerted strike work. Because that Sejuani about to level up. Too bad. All right, so not quite the five zero. Man, Sejuani is that? <laughs> that's the card that just today just got annihilated by Sejuani all day. Lots of lots of leveled up Sejuani's for sure. Um, but yeah, pretty sweet little deck here. I like like the curve. I I liked all three of these three drops more than Senna. Um, it would be nice to have a little bit more things to use powder kegs and I'm, I'm not sold that honestly I'm not really that sold that gangplank's the best thing to be the best five drop if that's better than Garen I'm not sure I don't know Gang, I mean, gangplank's good too but both these five drops are awesome the yeah so I'm not sure but of course we're trying to have like powder kegs die for Lucian um and yeah, there's not a whole lot of ways in these regions to be popping the powder kegs. Uh, but. Oh well. Uh, yeah, it, with Garen, it'd be harder to play Riptide Rex, I think. Yeah, like I think Garen would make it a little bit harder for Riptide Rex. But I'm not sure. Anyway, that's Gangplank Lucian. Another good uh, version of Demacia and Bilgewater together. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave any of those comments. Let me know if there's anything that, uh, you know, anything, any suggestions you have about the deck. Also with the sound, 
if y'all haven't, I guess for the other three videos, let me know if the sound is better because I'm trying a new setting on the microphone. Hopefully it's been better for y'all. But that's it here for Gangplank Lucian. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.